G'day again, welcome back to Dad vs. Son and our playthrough of uh, Combat Commander. And we are playing Scenario 21, St. Agatha. And we're back to the Americans go. So, um, the Italians are doing quite well as a rear guard. They're holding the Americans back from coming up the road and... Uh, getting out of the place and bypassing their positions. They haven't knocked any Americans out yet, but they've really held them in place by the, the use of their minefields and some very good fire from our veteran over here. Um, they've lost a few troops doing it, but um, they're fulfilling their function. They still have seven victory points at this time. So, uh, it's time five of seven, so they're still relatively happy, but we're back to the Americans' turn, and they got six new cards at the start of their turn. So let's see what they've got, and they have a fire and a fire and two artillery requests and another fire and a route. Right. So what do we want? To do what do we want to do okay so again what we may be able to do is we know that this bloke's up here we can see up to here we can see up to him so we might actually call artillery in on this mortar and then hopefully if it spreads down this way maybe hurt this bloke, maybe hurt this. If it spreads up this way or whatever else, then hopefully it'll take these out as well. So that's what we're going to do first because we have our 75 millimeter artillery. So that's what we're going to do. Artillery request from Sergeant Bueller to here. And that is a range of one, two, three, four. Okay, and we get three times two is six, so it hits. Now let's see where it spreads. And it goes two, five. So two is to here, and five is straight back here, so it's going to hit him, and it's going to hit these people here. Righto. Now this guy doesn't have any foxholes or anything. He's just sitting up there, fat, dumb, and a little bit unhappy now. So we're hitting for eight straight away. And we're going to do him first. So we have eight plus eight is 16 and a sniper. And the sniper is going to hit at 04. And a four fixes our broken medium machine gun. And O4 is here. So therefore, the American sniper hits our little Italian squad in his foxholes up here on the ridge. So that was a lucky one. Okay, so we have 16 coming into here and he is there for a whole seven. Do they have anything to help him whatsoever? And the answer is no. Seven and six. And he is reduced. Cannot use his mortar. Okay. And then we have him to here. So again, we have 16. Uh, get up there. So he is at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus 7 is great, but we have an event. And the event is 
breeze, but we don't have any smoke and we don't have any blazes, so it doesn't matter. And then for Sergeant Ottolini, I think it is, it's a bit hard to read so far away, who has gained up there for 11 and 7, uh, sorry, 11 and 6 is 17, which is just enough as well to save him. So, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So that's their first order, artillery request. Right, next. I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring some fire up on this guy. Now, we've already used Sergeant Bueller, so we can't use him again. What we're going to do is we're going to use a fire order as our second. And we are going to fire our heavy machine gun up here and try and take him out. Is that what I want to do? And the answer is, yeah, damn right. So this is for eight, nine, straight up here. So minus one for the elevation is eight. Um, I'm not going to add anything to that. So we have eight plus five is 13, but he's only up there for six. Oh, plus 10. Well done, that man. And he is safe. Wow. Do I want to fire again then? Or do I want to rout him? Now he's there for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's try and route him out of there as our third order. So we have a six and we get a three and we couldn't route him either. These Italians are hanging on. They're not giving anything away for anyone. Doing a wonderful job. Okay, now the Italians finished with two recovers. And they've picked up a command confusion, which they can't use anything on effectively, and a fire. So the first thing they're going to do is a recover. And we'll try and recover... Uh, this guy first. So all he has is a six and gets a ten, so he's not doing anything. And then we'll do this guy over here, who's six plus three is nine. And an eleven. Wow. Okay, so that was no good. So what do they want to do now? They have a fire that they can use, and that's about it. Right. So all of these guys that can be seen down here are all in either two or three cover. Um, so firing from here down into them is not really going to do much at all. Firing from here down along here, we could fire for four, five, six, seven down into here. Um, there's nothing else I can do with that. So we have seven down into there. Now, if we look over here, we could fire for... In fact, that'd be eight coming down there because I didn't put the elevation in. Here we would be for five, six seven coming down to maybe take him out or even take him out which might be better five six and one for elevation is seven down to here and that might actually be the best bet if we can start to play with these guys a little bit so we're going to do that so our second order is going to be fire activating our hero and his veteran squad here so five Plus one is six, plus downhill is seven, onto here. And they get an eight with that. It's 15, not a bad go. Now, can the Americans do anything to help? And the answer is, nah, not a thing. So he's sitting there for eight, plus one is nine. Plus 10 is 19. He just shrugs it off. And they cannot do, the Italians cannot do anything more. 
and they get two cards. Uh, seeing if they've got anything funny. No. So the Americans finish with two fires and an artillery request and pick up another fire and two moves. <sighs> okay. So we do have smoke grenades. We have two lots of smoke grenades if we decide to move, which is pretty handy as well. And we have the artillery request, which we can fire smoke rather than firing um, HE. But I think what I'd like to do in the first instance is fire. I want to try and take this guy out first up since he's already hurt. So I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use this fire, even though it's got a smoke grenade that I could use later on it, because I've still got one other one there. I'm going to activate Sergeant Bueller and all of his people. Now the only bloke that can't do anything is this guy going this way or this way so he can't really see anybody at all I need to move him at some stage so I'll activate this these and this okay so the first thing we want to do is I'm going to fire with the medium machine gun Uh, mum, 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 mum. No, first thing I'm going to do is fire with the heavy machine gun here. So that's going to be for 8, 9. Uphill minus 1 is 8. And I don't have anything to add to that. So it's 8 plus 5 is 13. Not fantastic. And he's sitting up there for 7 plus 3 is 10. Do I have anything to help him? And I do not. So 10 plus 5 is 15 and he's fine. Okay. So machine gun's done. Heavy machine gun's done, I should say. Mortar can't do anything at the moment. So, because I was hoping to maybe take him out, wound him with this ones, and then take them out with this one. Uh, but I think these ones will just try and take this guy out. Now, do I... Use both lots or I just fire uphill here and use him to fire over this way. He's going to fire for eight into here or here. He's going to fire for seven into here or here. And again, with the minus one. Do I split it or go for it? Now I'm going to split it. So this is going to fire here. So we have six plus one is seven. Going uphill is a six. Plus 9 is 15, which I think is pretty damn fine. And our little Italian up here has only got a 6. Plus 8 is 14, and we take him out. So their mortar's gone. We still hold control. But they've lost another squad. They've lost the mortar. They lose two more victory points, and they're down to five victory points. Right, which leaves then this here. Firing for 6 plus 2 is 8. Uphill to here, so that's 7. Plus 7 is 14, and we have an event. And the event is... Battlefield Integrity. Gain one victory point for each of your opponent's eliminated units. And we have... One, two, three squads, a leader and a team. That's five victory points, which brings it back to zero. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now the Italians are starting to feel the pinch. Okay, so we're shooting up here for 14. And he's sitting there for 10 with nothing to help. And nine, and he's fine. And we're finished with the fire order over here which leaves us two more fire orders, two moves, and an artillery request. Okay, so I think we might do is pop some more artillery. Or do we want to fire? 
this is what's really holding us up here at the moment, this veteran squad in the foxholes. But I'd really like to take this guy out. Um, if I pop artillery up there, then he's going to have a 10 to start with, which is still pretty damn fine. But I think it's worthwhile. We're going to try and drop some artillery up here. So artillery request for our second order. And again, what we're going to try and do is pop it straight into these foxholes. Well, we're going to call it from our American hero here. And he's doing it. So rather than uh, Sergeant White doing it, because he can still form his fire group then to do some nasties up there. So we are at one, two, three. And we get two threes, a six, it hits, and let's see where it spreads. And it goes three, four. Okay, so three will be this way, and then four will be this way, and it just hits all in here and does nothing. So our hero is not a very good artillery spotter at all. Righto, so lucky last we're going to... Fire for our third order. Sergeant White is going to activate everybody. So we'll use the medium machine gun. No, it doesn't really matter. So six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, going uphill. So it's a nine. Plus 7 is 16 and an event. And the event is... Recon, your opponent must reveal a secret objective. We've already done that for him, so it's not going to make any difference. Okay, so we have 16 up into here. So our little fellow here first up. And again, I don't believe there was anything to help, was there? No. He's sitting at 8. Plus 3 is 11. Plus five is 16. So he is suppressed. And our hero is sitting up there for nine and three is 12. Plus seven is tons. And we have an event again. And the event is sappers. You may remove one mines or wire marker. And there's no way in the world that they want to remove any of that stuff. They're quite happy to leave it all there. Righto. So that's the American turn done. And they'll get three new cards. One, two, three. And we're back to the Italians who have their recover, their command confusion that they can't use. And they have a fire and a move. Right. So I think the first thing they're going to do again is recover. So they'll remove this suppressed marker from him. And they'll try and recover this guy. He's up there for a 9. And we get a 10 again. I think last time he got an 11. So he's really shaken. He uh, doesn't want to do anything. So they have a fire and a move. Do they want to move? The answer is the only thing that they may move is this guy back up to here. But that doesn't make any sense because we have no foxholes up here. Um, so he was a little bit of a throwaway, which was a pain, but uh, that's what happens. Um, I could start moving this fella up around this way, but that's not really going to achieve much, and I don't want to send him through a minefield or anything like that. Um, we've already tried to come around and take objective one, and that hasn't worked there. So I think we just may fire. Uh, or do I hold the fire? No, we are going to fire. As a second order, we are going to fire, and again, we're going to use this people here, firing at Sergeant White. So we again, what we have is a five, six, seven going downhill. Five, six, yep, seven going downhill. Nothing to help with it. 
and a 12. That's 19 and time. We are now at time six of seven. Okay, let's see what we've got. We'll reshuffle the Italian deck. If I can get them out of the box. Okay. Now, again, we have no smoke to move. We have uh, one VP for the Italians being the defender. So they are at one VP again. There are no reinforcements, no smoke, like I said. So it all will come down to is dig ins. Uh, the Italians do not have a dig in. I'm not sure if the Americans do. So I'll have a look. And the Americans do not either. So it's straight back into it. So they were firing for 7 plus 12 is 19 at Sergeant White. And Sergeant White is sitting there for 8 plus 1 is 9. And I don't think we have anything that could help him whatsoever. We could use a concealment, but that's only going to bump it by 1 to 10, which I don't think is a real... Well, why don't we do it? Why don't we do it? We will. So we're going to use concealment. We're going to bump it up. So he's now at 8, plus 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Against 19... And he gets a four and it doesn't do anything and he is hit. And the Italians can't do any more. Uh, well, they could move if they wanted, but again, like I said, I don't think they really want to move. So they'll get two new cards. Now the Americans have two moves and a fire and they've picked up a recover and another fire. Right. Do we want to move and then recover, maybe? Do we want to start pushing up? Because we don't know what this other secret objective is going to say, and that could actually, without knocking out more of the Italians or taking at least one of their objectives, could make life awfully difficult for us. The trouble is, there's only one objective up here. There's three over here. So maybe if I move Sergeant Bueller and his people, um, if they get hit, then I can always try and recover them. And then that'll also go for recover for Sergeant White. And then I might be able to bring fire back up into here again. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to move. And we're going to activate Sergeant Bueller and all of his people. So the first thing that's going to happen is... What? <laughs> How do I want to do this? How do I wish to do this? And I think... Our little man here is going to try for a dash up the road. So he's going to go 1-2 to here. Can they fire? And they can. They have a fire order. Now, I don't think... Oh, oh gee, that's close. Yes, I believe he can. So Sergeant Ottolini is going to activate. He can activate this guy as well. So up here, but we can't activate him. So they're going to fire. And they're going to fire for four, five, six, seven, down to here, plus one for the alt, uh, added, bleh, elevation is eight. Um. But just before they do that, our little man there throws some smoke. Ugh. And we get that one, which 
which is going to be seven smoke and they go down to one if they're going to fire and they go is it worth it is it worth it will we fire or won't we fire and they go not at this time no so he's gone two to here does he want to fire at him rather than them and he would be firing can he fire in fact that's the question we'd be coming across here to here I don't think he can I think he's blocked by this bit here oh sorry we're back here duh not firing up there we're firing here <clears throat> and I think he will so they are going to fire this guy's going to do the firing not them and it's one two three so it's in range and he's firing for four plus one downhill is five um, Does he want to? Does he want to? No, he doesn't want to put anything else out there at the moment. So it's five plus seven is 12 and an event. And the event is hero, but our hero is already out there. So we can't do that. Okay, so we have 12 to this guy who's for six minus one for the road being here is five. And I do have a light wounds if need be. And we get five plus eight is 13. And he is safe by a whisker. Then he moves into the smoke. So he's gone one, two, three. Okay. So now we're going and we can't shoot into there at all. And he can go one more up there. And hope for an advance. Oh no, he gets his free one to there, doesn't he? I oh, wonder if he wants to jump into the trees or to stay in the smoke. So he goes up here. He gets one freebie up the road. So he's got two left. And he will go into the trees. This bloke still can't shoot. These weren't activated, so it doesn't matter. He's done. So the next to move is going to be the medium machine gunner who is going to go one here and he's got a one two three four so that's uh, again shooting for five and plus one for downhill and he is going to use crossfire on this one so he gets a plus two so he's shooting for seven and our little machine gunny man. Oh, it's a 12. So he's safe as houses. But we are at sudden death. Okay. Right. So we're at sudden death. So the first thing that happens is shuffle and then do the sudden death roll. Before we get any extra VPs or anything else. Okay, so the defender doesn't get the one VP until after the sudden death roll. Okay, so again, making sure I get this right because I always forget it. Sudden death. Uh, if the result is less than the number in the space currently occupied by time, the game immediately ends. Okay. So six or less, the game is over. Six or less, the game is over. Okay, here's the American deck. We will cut it. I'll just put that half over there for the time being. And it's 11, so the game goes on. Right, so this is the top of the deck now. So Defender gets one VP taking him up to two. Uh, we look for dig-ins. Nobody has any dig-ins. There's no smoke or anything else except for this one. 
which has to be removed which got rid of that, which is a pain in the bottom. Okay, so this guy has moved one now. He's going to go two to here. One, two, three, four. He's now out of range. He's then going to go three to there. Or is he going to stop here? He's going to stop there, in fact, for the time being. Sergeant Buell is now going to come up and he's going to go one, two, one, two, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. He's in range. This guy can still fire down. So he's firing for four plus one is five down into here. Um, plus five is 10. And this guy's in here for 10 already. Plus eight. So he's safe. So he's gone two, he goes three to here, he's out of range, he goes four to here, and he's out of range. Now, do I want to put him up in here? And I think I do. He goes five, six to there, and I don't think we have... No, because we're just clipping this part of the, the, the crest. So that's going to stop him seeing over there. Blocks his vision. Right. So the next thing that's going to happen is our heavy machine gun can only move two now. What does it want to do? I'm going to leave it there for a sec. The light mortar, though, is going to go one to here. No, that's pretty stupid. He's simply going to go two into the building. This guy can have a shot again, shooting for five. Plus seven is 12 and an event. And the event is sappers. Again, may remove one mines or wire. Again, they don't want to. Um, so he's good. And the heavy machine gun. I think we're just going to leave that there for the time being as well. I think, I think, I think. He could move up to here for two. But that's not really going to achieve much. He can't even go one, two, three. Because he's only got two. So he's just going to stay there. So our move has finished. That's our first order. Um, we are then going to recover as our second order. Sergeant White is there for nine. Gets a six, so he recovers. Excuse the fat fingers again. And then we have a fire or a move. Do, do. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And I think we're just going to put some fire straight up here again. So again, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up here, minus one is nine. Plus nine is 18, which is pretty damn fine. Okay, we have nothing that can help. So we have our little squad up here sitting for eight, nine, 10, 11. And 11 is 22. He's a tenacious little bugger, isn't he? I really, <laughs> I really like this guy. He's doing well. And then we have a hero sitting there for 12, plus 10, and he... No wonder he's a hero. He's uh, hanging in there. All right. And that is that. The Americans finish with a move order and that's it. And get five new ones. And the Italians have only two left. They have their command confusion, which they can't use. And they have an advance. 
But is there anything that they would want to advance? And realistically not. So they're simply going to do a discard for one. I'm keeping the advance because it has a uh, hand grenade just in case um, the Americans get that bloody close. Is that smart or not? Smart or not? I really need fires, don't I? More than anything else. But the hand grenades could come in very handy. No, I'm going to keep the hand grenades so they will get three cards. See if there's anything interesting there. There's not. So we'll do the Americans again and then the Italians and then I think we'll call it quits on this video. So the Americans finished with a move. They've picked up an artillery request. Two command confusions. Uh, one of them has an action we can use. A recover and a fire. Right. Right, 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 right. What do we want to do? So I could bring fire in up to here. That'd be for six, seven, eight. Minus one is seven up to here. Yeah. Again, fire up with the heavy machine gun up to here. I've only got the one fire. If I get rid of him, then I can start to bring these forward. Let's do this. Do I have anything to help? Or I could move and pop smoke again. Or I could use my artillery request to try and put some smoke down. I'm not sure exactly where that's going to go either. I think we're going to fire. So we're going to fire. We're going to use the heavy machine gun for eight, nine, going uphill. So that's for eight. Uh, don't. Yep, I do. I've got a sustained fire. So that'll bring it up to ten. Plus. 7 is 17 and an event. And the event is... Interdictions. Press one unit in a hex with less than one cover. Ouch. And the only people that are in a hex with less than one cover are my people. I don't think there are any Italians in less than one cover. I've got two cover, blah, blah, blah. Yep, they're all done. Okay, so let's press any of these or my medium machine gun. Well, not any of these. These guys are cover. <coughs> these are out in the open, depending on you know where shots are coming from, so I can't bank on them saying they've got cover. So I'm actually going to suppress my hero. So that's done. Righto, so we have 17 firepower up on this guy up here. Does he have anything to help? And he does not. So he is sitting there for 10. Plus 6 is not enough. And he is broken. Right. So that's our first command. Okay. Now, our second command. I'm still thinking of an artillery request. But now the question is, do I try and again pop it up, say here, to try and take this guy out of this guy? I could get a drop short onto here. Or do I again pop it up here, trying to take out this guy? So they're both going to have, basically, they're going to be sitting up there for 10 each, which is pretty damn fine. Um, I 
I've got more chance of causing trouble over here than I do over there. But, 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 but. I'm just going to pause it and have a quick think. Righto, so what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop smoke from my artillery. And I'm going to call it in from Sergeant White here. Is that pretty smart? And we're going to call it in to... into here. So we have a range of one, two, three. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just making sure again, when I do that, yep, okay, so three, and we get three threes and nine, so it goes off, we see where it spreads and it goes four, five. So it comes down this way and then it comes over this way and we end up with smoke in all of these hexes. So we'll start with this hex here. And we have two smoke and then we'll go clockwise and then the center. Two smoke. One smoke. Four smoke. One smoke. I don't think this is a very good smoke round. Eight smoke. And in the guts. Four smoke. So, yeah, not a very good smoke round at all. Okay. Oakley doakley. So that was our artillery request for our second, which leaves us with one order to give. And I think at this stage we'll just hang slack. One, two, three... And the Italians have an advance, two fires, and another advance. Oh, now that's cheeky, isn't it? Mm. Dun, 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 dun. These guys just aren't close enough even for my hero to advance twice. One, two, to try and get into Sergeant White and knock him out. Seeing as he could do two, I could advance him one, but that's not going to do anything because you know, we've got too much smoke there. So do I, no good firing over here at the moment with anything here. I could fire down here. I could fire down here. I could advance to the rear. But I don't think they really want to do that. I could advance just this guy down into here. I know that sounds a bit strange, but that would then give me a fire group to start bringing fire into here later. He's going to lose. Well, he can't advance down there. That's a cliff, idiot. Uh, so that's not going to help. So is there anywhere I could use an advance realistically to do any bloody good? And the answer is no. And I have two fires, which aren't going to do a great deal of good at the moment. So as stupid as it sounds, I'm going to get rid of the two advances and take 
two cards and we will call it quits there and come back with the American turn on the next video. Um, so, yeah. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Or do I, yeah. Or do I get rid of one of the advances and one of the fires? I'm getting rid of two cards anyway. I'm just thinking if these blokes try and muscle up through the smoke, then I might be able to advance into them and create some havoc, even if it's just with my hero. That's if they leave the sergeant out by himself, which they probably won't do now. No, I'll leave it as it is. So that's it. Maybe not the greatest tactical decision going, but um, it's. I want to keep the fire orders simply for op fire and to be able to react and try and nip any American thing in the bud. So thanks again and take care and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.